Hello everybody, my name is Katie Kijo, I want you to, and welcome back to Persona 5 Royal. Last time, we undid our deaths and learned the secret about what was going on. It turned out that the Igor that we knew the entire time was not in fact the real Igor, but rather it was a manifestation of the God of Control that we have been fighting this whole time. And we also learned a lot of other secrets. It seemed as though not only Morgana was born in the Velvet Room, but this whole situation that we were in was set up by the God of Control and it was just a game to him to pit me against Akechi. So even though Akechi is no longer with us, he still had an important part to play in all this. Anyway, we've also found that the world has, well, pretty much turned literally to hell. So we're going to have to do everything that we can to undo that. Before we do go and get started with our mission today, I do want to go to the Velvet Room real quick because we did get a couple new personas in not the last episode, but the one before that, before we try to fight the Holy Grail. And I also do want to see what we can do with certain things. So I'm going to go to the Velvet Room, see what I confuse, and then we'll go ahead and get started. My sincerest thanks. I wouldn't have regained my true form if not for you. In order to repay that debt, allow me to assist you and your teammates here. Please come to me if you're injured. I will heal your wounds. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Let me hear your business. Yep, now that we have properly have the real Igor back, now all of the little intros are going to be slightly different. Awaken your new self. As well as Lavenza's commentary. Okay, so I'm not going to fuse anything, but I am going to get rid of Lilith and power up Kaguya Picaro because I really do need some space for what's coming up ahead. Alright, so, a few level ups. Hmm... Yeah, I'll go ahead and I'll get rid of Bad Beaver Freedon. It's better than nothing. Okay, sorry about the little uh, awkward start, but now we are gonna properly get to work. So, we got a lot to go through before we can get to the Evil God. It's not just going to be go up the stairs and fight the boss. We got a little bit of work to do, so... I recommend that you bring your strongest personas, because what we have coming up, it's going to be pretty rough going. But, it'll be very rewarding. So let's go! Okay, let's get going. Can you see that further in? That's the temple. <laughs> it's nice knowing there aren't going to be any bullshit traps or nothing this time. Alright, let's get moving. Yeah, so we do have a lot to climb through. It's just a giant maze and staircase of bones. This is a crazy, crazy little dungeon. And don't think it's going to be a one-stop shop. Like, we are going to be here for a little while. Let's cross here. Let's see if there's anything there's up here. Treasure chest. Come, let's open it. Death Axe. My, Ooh, a new axe? I'd like to try it right away. Go ahead. Yes. Yay, I'm going to work harder than ever. All right, we got some new equipment for Haru. Already off to a good start. You do want to be sure to explore this area because, as I'm sure you can guess, this is only a one-time occasion. There will not be any repeat visits to this massive, horrifying, fountain titan-esque staircase. So... Please be sure that you do everything. What the? What's up? I'm sensing something up ahead. I guess we can't just go waltzing in there, huh? What do you say, Joker? Yeah, let's push onward. Careful! Enemy incoming! It's pretty dangerous. Uh, 
absconding from your cells is forbidden. Return to your prison post haste. Those who wish to disturb society shall be slain on the very spot they stand. You're the one who's disturbing it! Dissenters must be destroyed. It's useless trying to reason with this guy. Let's beat him and break through here! Yeah, so we have a new fight for on our hands. We have to fight Uriel. Now, you remember all those really powerful angel-like personas I'm that I was making move. earlier? Yeah, we're gonna have to fight all of them in this little area. So get ready for that. This is going to be rough Persona! fights. So Uriel is actually the easiest and you'll understand okay. why. But for starters, we're gonna do Vault Guardian, get everyone's defenses up. And then we're also going to use Masaku Kaja to get everyone's accuracy and evasion up. Yeah, so you just summon some zealous messengers. Don't let the fact that they're angels uh, fool you. They are a lot stronger than the original incarnations of them. That said, I'm going to go ahead and use Blazing Hell. See what that gives us. All right, dealt some pretty decent damage. Uh, the big thing to note about uh, this particular boss, and this is why he's the relatively the easiest one, he is the only one that has weaknesses right now. So we're going to be using my Gowan, use heavy curse damage on all foes, and hopefully should get a good combo going. Okay, Uriel is not weak to it. My mistake. I guess we're all just going to die. And we'll go ahead and have on attack again with another blazing hell. Have Cody's flash bomb. I am thou, So Uriel does have Megidola, as expected. The angels pretty much all have all money attacks, not that they can't use other things. Let's do this. Go! Persona. There. Gonna use my Gowan again. Go ahead, use Vorpal Blade. And done. Relatively easy this time around. What was that? The, the city! What's going on here? It seems they finally realized their lives are in danger. Took them long enough. I can't believe they didn't notice until the danger was so close to them. Things are going to get even worse from here on out. The entire city has stopped functioning. At least they can still panic for now. If people still don't act for themselves after seeing all this, I'm sorry, but they're hopeless. In any case, let's head to the temple. Okay, well, at least the situation for the people has slightly improved. Made a little bit of progress there. But yeah, Uriel was just the tip of the iceberg. It's not going to get easier from here. So let's keep going. Look, over there! It seems guards have appeared. The people in the city recognized us, so it's only natural we draw the enemy's attention as well. Well, they can bring it on! I'm starting to get fired up! Okay, so we have some more enemies that we need to fight, and now the bones have also added teeth. Really creepy. There are a mix of strong and weak enemies. 
Do be careful. Oh, I put it to sleep so I can't negotiate. Well, I guess she'll just have to die. Can't say I didn't give her a chance. Okay. Oh, you're kidding. Really? Didn't even break a sweat. Okay, well, we'll just have to go to the velvet room at a later point. Shadow spotted. Its strength is unlike the others. I'll reveal your true form. One more. Ravage that Hold on. You can't do this. Alright, let's let the throbbing king of desire. As if I haven't seen enough of this guy already. Wants to join. So, yeah. We'll have him join us. I'm no shadow from this place. I used to be living at their sea of the human soul. From now on, call me Mara. No need for honorifics, Sonny. Now, we need not talk about Mara again. Hopefully not for a while, at least. And we got a blank card for our troubles. Okay. Okay. So, some more area that we can explore. Where can I go up to? Oop. There we go. Up there. I found a chest. We can take this and get a bead chain. Very helpful. We are going to need to be careful, but nowhere really to hide. Here, take this, just forget about me. Aw, oh, man! Well, that's disappointing. But still, we did get a magic ointment for our trouble. Alright. Oh, so there are Show places to hide. Form. My bad. Join my cause. Oh. You're as eloquent as I am. My word. Just remember something. I'm not a shadow of this place. I've resided within the sea of the soul since ancient times. My name is Throne. That is your name as well. Do not forget this. Alright, Joker leveled up to level 76. Beautiful. Alright. Alright, we're just gonna have to travel on and we're just gonna keep going after each and every enemy we can. I want to make the most of my time here. We got a strong one coming up, so... Show me your true form. Ravage them. Ah, beautiful. Let's continue. Just like I thought. Very, very convenient insta kill shot. Multiple level ups, including for Sandalphon. To definitely earn that kill. Okay. A decisive victory. Show me your true form. One more. This time I'm gonna seal deal with this. God bless. I don't want a soul drop. I want you. Why can't I get Mott? Okay. I'll get Mott one of these days. Looking shadow. I'll reveal your truth. All right, one more, and then we'll be done in this room. Go down. There we go. I definitely had no particular problems. Definitely did not have any major status ailment issues. You won't see any of it. What you will see is four party members leveling up. Want to recover real quick? Announcement. 
Wait up. I'm getting another reading from up ahead. Are you ready for this? I'm good to go. Alt Rebels, I shall not allow you to continue forth. Come on, let's beat this one too. More people should notice the Phantom Thieves if we just make ourselves seen. That's exactly what we want! Alright, so now we're fighting Raphael. We actually have had Raphael in our party for a while, but then we traded him in for a better angel. Anyway, we do want to be careful with Raphael. So, as always, focus on getting your stats up before anything else. I'm actually going to go ahead and use Marakuna to start off this turn. And then we'll get all of our sets up with Bolt Guardian and Masaku Kaja. This is my other self. Let's get everyone's evasion up. Okay, so we do want to exercise some caution because Raphael just used Heat Riser and Charge. Well, Concentrate, rather. In any case... Alright, he is immune to that, so we do want to keep that in mind. Then I'm going to go ahead, switch Michael in, and use Debilitate on Raphael. Get all the stats back down. Gonna then use Flash Bomb. Then I'll use Charge on Yusuke. And we evade it. Beautiful. Now I think I'm gonna go ahead. Oh. Ahn's already concentrated. That's right. Due to her item, she already is. So we'll go ahead and use Agidine. Did a decent chunk of damage there. Alright. And Futaba further lowered his accuracy and evasion. Very good timing for that. Then I'm going to go ahead and use a Megi Dolan. And for good measure, I'll also use Atomic Flare. Let's go. This should do a lot of damage. Classical physical damage to one foe. Brave Blade and Charge. Let's do it. Oh, beautiful. Critical hit at the right time. Perfect, Yusuke. Okay, so that happened. Now people are getting Thanos. Okay, so before we continue on to the next area, I'm gonna go to the Velvet Room real quick, take care of the fusion alarm. There's no safe rooms in this area, but the area is divided into paths. At least I think. So I'm gonna head back down, go to the Velvet Room real quick, and then I'll see you guys back up here. Hopefully it won't take too long. Okay, on the way down, I had to fight a couple enemies because I wasn't able to warp straight away. So, Joker and Futaba leveled up. As a reminder, uh, just like Carolyn before, Lavenza is now able to fully restore HP and SP. So, if you ever feel like you're low on energy, that's another reason to come back down here and go see her. So, take advantage of this. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and fuse Thor and Mara to make Lakshimi. One, because it's a new persona that I can make, and two, I just want to get rid of these two. I don't want either of them in the party. 
for different reasons, of course. I am Lakshmi. Enough admire, admiring my beauty. It is time I become your mask and teach you the joy bringing dance. Ooh! Lakshmi got Psycho Force, severe psychic damage to one foe. Emma Garula, that's gonna work really well with her Mighty Gaze skill. That's nice. I got Meteor on. I don't want Climate Decorum. Um, Emria Shower is fine, we can put that on. I don't want Life Aid, at least not particularly. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna itemize Thantos Piccaro because I really don't see myself using him in any capacity. So I'm gonna get rid of him to get the Demod this Decree card skill card. An and we'll see what that does in just a second. So Demont Decree, I'm not teaching it to Ball, I'm just showing it here for the sake of demonstration. Demont Decree is a curse attack that reduces HP of one foe by 50%. So it's not an insta-kill card, but it can be useful in certain situations. Especially considering in kind of later game situations, if you're trying to not just annihilate a certain persona or shadow that you're trying to fight, this is a good way to get their HP down without just killing them outright. Anyway, I'm gonna go back upstairs. I'll see you guys in a moment for you, probably a few minutes for me. On the way back up, five people leveled up to level 77. Okay, so we're definitely getting to higher ground. We can tell by the change in the color of the sky. The ground's a little more even too, but there are a lot less crystals to hide behind. So do uh, keep your placement in mind. There aren't as many options to hide, but that doesn't mean there aren't any. Hello. Uh, hello. Hello. Reveal your true form. Hello. Oh, jeez. Okay, yes, I forgot. There is also, in addition to everything else, there is another treasure What's demon that is exclusive to this area. You want to be absolutely sure you get this because you will not have an opportunity to get this later. At least I'm relatively sure you won't considering that we're at the end here. All right, let's get this Crystal Skull. My name is Crystal Skull. My existence shall become a new part of you. That the security level is back down to zero. Let's press onward. Still have more enemies to take care of. I'll reveal your true form. Your mind. Nice. We all did great, huh? Just like I thought. We're getting so much money experience out of this. Even Haru leveled up. Okay. Easy but we're gonna need all the experience that we can get because the enemies do not get weaker from here on all right let's see what other path to the right brings us 
Another enemy. A lot of places to hide. That's always good. I'll reveal your what do you got? Form. Lend me your power, Mott. Whatever. It looks sad. Be nice and just give some basic vague answers. Ain't you kind of old to be playing dress up? Come on, what's that mask? Kind of cringy, don't you think? Sure is. So you're aware, and you're doing it anyway. Let's f it up, man. Hey, you. What'd you do if I told you I knew I could win? You'd have no idea I was about to use my ultimate move. For real? I guess you did corner me, so I'll lay off for now. By the way, that does not count for the counter. Man, you remind me of myself. Whoa! It's all coming back! I am not Shadow that lives here. I'm from the Sea of Souls, you humans. I'm Mott. From now on, I'm you. Finally, we got Mott! Your power is incredible, Joker. Okay. While the subject of new personas came in mind, I wanted to talk about Crystal Skull real quick. So, Crystal Skull finally gives what some of you have probably been waiting for. Gives you the heavy, all the heavy elemental attacks that hit every single target. This is so helpful. So make use of it. Also, Ma, it's, it's just a stupidly good persona. It's not necessarily broken like other personas are, but in a lot of other games, especially most Shin Megami Tensei and Devil Summoner games, Mott can be just a broken mess. And now he's in our party. That's always a good thing. Okay, we're not gonna be able to get to that. Where, how do I get there? I guess from up there, perhaps. Guess we'll have to take the other route. Nope. All according to plan. Good work, everyone. We don't talk about okay. that fight either. Nah, I guess we do talk about that fight because it activated the fusion alarm again. God bless. Oh, I'm getting sleepy with nothing to do. See it. Okay, more importantly, we go up here. And then we can cross here, and that gives us another treasure, a treasure chest. chest. Get soul food. Really good items. Gee, I wonder what they want us to use this for. Certainly is not for something up ahead at the end of this godforsaken road. All right, we have one more enemy in the middle, and that should take care of it. I'll reveal your true form. Lend me a power. Very well. Discussion is integral to reaching a mutual understanding. This one's timid. Don't beat around the bush. You'll scare it even more. I fear you have gone astray. Our father prays you return to the righteous path. Let me hear your utter words of repentance. Words of repentance. To commit such mischief with the language a father provided, the expression itself is unique. Think carefully. I am here because of your desire for salvation. For you to force me to prostrate myself as one who only seeks your well-being. Is there anything more irrational? My apologies. Very well. If you seek salvation, I can give you the sicker you desire. That passion so familiar. Ha! Huh. This time spent has awakened me to the truth. I am not a shadow of this place. I've resided within the sea of the human soul since ancient times. My name is Dominion. That is your name as well. Do not forget this. And with that, another new persona. And another new persona that I gotta send home. Or I've already registered Throne to my companion, so I'm gonna send him home. Alright, now, 
before we go up here, I want to change the party around and then we'll get our HP up too. Alright guys, let's go. It seems we're getting closer to the temple. And we're getting closer to another enemy. I'm getting a strong reading up ahead. Let's push on. Children of man. Return from whence you came. Proceeding further shall only serve to shorten your lives. I advise you not as a guardian, but out of the mercy of my heart. Mercy? Don't make me laugh. If you had mercy, you'd never be doing this to the world. Ah. Even now, thy answer is in weapons drawn. You have a sword and a flower chain. I don't want to hear about weapons drawn. What choice have I in the face of such barbarity? My children's misconduct is mine to absolve and mine to punish. Okay, so now we face Gabriel. As always, you do want to exercise caution, and I don't believe that she has any weaknesses, but I'm gonna check anyway. Nope! Okay. Moving on. Okay, so. Divine Judgment. That is basically the opposite of the skill that we um, had gone over earlier. It's basically the blessed version that cuts your HP in half. So. Keep that in mind. It is a bit of a tricky skill. I'm gonna go ahead and use Debilitate, get all of our stats down. I am thou. Gonna have Yusuke's charge, get his stats going. Aunt's turn, since he's already concentrated, I'm gonna have her use Agidon. Get some high damage here. Here I go. Speed up. And it looks like I was right to do that because now. Futaba essentially activated Masuku Kaja. I'm gonna go ahead and have Michael up here. I'm gonna use Heat Rise on right. myself. Get all my stats heightened. She's able to use a lot of different elemental magic. Fortunately, we're all awesome and we just avoid everything. Gonna go ahead and use Salvation on the group, get everyone's HP back up. Let's go. And then Yusuke is gonna use Brave Blade. That dealt over a thousand damage. Wonderful. I do not believe Lullaby will work, so we're just gonna go ahead and use another Agidine. Does some decent damage. And then Joker, you can use Megidola. Ready when you are. Ah, Morgana. Roger. Not bad, Mona. Beat him up. When in doubt. Run the angels over with your car. Worked at Kirby, so why wouldn't it work here? And I leveled up. No one else gets to. 78, my goodness. D -d Does anyone know where my friend is? He was right next to me. No! A person disappeared right in front of my eyes. Please, save us. Someone. Anyone! I'm not surprised there are so many powerful enemies here. Indeed. Though they may not be true servants of God, they do live up to that moniker. I wonder if the people in the city are okay. I hope so. Given what is happening to this world, nobody can be considered a stranger anymore. Yeah. That's why we can't lose. There's only one thing we gotta do. Well said, Lady On. Let's keep going. 
All right, we've made some good progress. Let's head up to the next floor. Oop, we're nearly there. We have some powerful enemies up ahead, but we can do this. I didn't mean to not ambush him, but hey, we can ignore that. You're not overly powerful, but I can just use insta-kill attacks. And we got five level ups. More people level six level ups. Thank you, game. Come on. Okay. You were just trying to prove me wrong. Leave the noobs and let's go. A chest. Talk about luck. Okay. The scarf of mercy. And a Soma. Beautiful. Now, I want to check out one quick thing. Okay, so earlier I got the Vest of Life. I'm gonna go ahead and equip that to Joker, kind of give him more defense. Just cost a little bit of evasion, but I think we'll be okay. And then we just also got the Scarf of Mercy. I'm definitely willing to increase Morgana's defense a little more in exchange for one evasion point. Plus, he gets regenerated two by wearing this, so really, really, really nice defensive piece of equipment. Let's go. All, right. All we gotta do is keep climbing. We're almost there. Oh, it's not gonna be that easy, though. We've got another one of those angel things coming up. It's right past this stair. What the? This reading is off the charts. Yes, it must be because this is the final guardian. I expect it will be the most powerful of them all. W well, Joker, you really think we can do this? We have no other choice. Oh, dire revelation. Never did I expect thee to slay all other archangels. Now only I remain. So that means you're the last one who's gonna get in our way. Dare thee destroy the very ruler thou wished for? Human arrogance truly knows no bounds. Not everyone wants that thing ruling over us. Dost thou long for freedom? Dost thou revel in diversity? Since the dawn of time, man hath failed to quell the strife born of their own liberty. Now they finally seek the guiding yoke of a master's rule. What empty justice seekest thou in defying their wish? Like granting that wish is justice either. How can you say people are free when they're chained up in prisons in this broken world? If someone has lost their way, it's our job to help them come to their senses. So, no sacrilege is beneath thee. For thy ideals, thou wouldst profane all that is holy. Thou art beyond all salvation. Okay, so as you can tell by the boss theme, it's actually getting real. Do not compare Michael to the other bosses. This guy is the real deal, and he is very powerful. Persona. You can tell that, because if you recall, when I made my Michael, I had to literally fuse all the other Archangels to make him. So, yeah, he's no joke. Michael. As such, I'm gonna be using Heat Razor on myself. <laughs> Get all my stats up. You definitely want to be extremely careful. We're gonna use debilitate on the Michael we're facing. I am then we're gonna go ahead, just because I don't want to rely on Futaba to do the Masakukaja again. We're gonna get all of our evasion up. Oh boy. Yeah, so he has Zealous Messengers. You want to get rid of these as soon as you can. If you do not, then this is going to be a very, very long fight. As such, I'm gonna use Blazing Hell right away. Come. I'm gonna go ahead and use Concentrate on myself. And then Magarudine on everyone. Hear and obey the word of the Lord. 
And now we're gonna do some amazing epic damage with Joker. Maggie Dolan! 1377, not bad. Persona. Gonna go ahead, have Yusuke's charge on himself. Looks like he's also using charge. He just wasted his charge, beautiful. Figured I should give that a shot, didn't think that was gonna work though. You know what? I need to focus on getting my SP back up. Because this fight's gonna be rough if I can't use Joker effectively. I think a Chewing Soul will do for now. I'm gonna go ahead and use Miracle Punch. Miracle Punch is my best way and best chance to get him knocked down considering my current setup. I'm gonna go ahead and use Brave Blade. Decent damage. Divine Judgment, again, do not let that scare you. It's not going to deal that much damage. Going to use Concentrate on On. Going to use Heat Riser again. Get my stats back up. Up a cold dish of gonna get everyone's HP back up with Salvation. Because Morgana is objectively the best healer in the game. Persona. Gonna extend everyone's accuracy and evasion buff because that seemed to work out really well for us so far. Now he's using Debilitate. And Maggie Dolan! Ah, oh, jeez! It's a very good thing that I was able to get everyone's HP back up. Now we're gonna go ahead and use a Concentrated Agudan. Did some decent damage. Have a taste of your own Maggie Dolan. Literally. Gonna go ahead and use debilitate one more time. Are you ready? Time for the finishing move. Hopefully it is. On guard. I'm running on empty, man. Behold, Whoa. a saucy, zesty masterpiece. Ain't nothing better than this. <laughs> Get out, dumbass! Here you go, my tree! You change, right? Holy crap, this is good. You sure were hungry. Oh boy, that's not good. Okay, again, can't stress enough. Get rid of the zealous messengers as soon as you can. This fight becomes incredibly tedious if you do not get rid of them. My go on, now. Oh yeah, my man Ryuji, taking him out. Oh, we took out Michael. Now it's just a matter of getting rid of these little. All right. Do it. Beat him up. Man, Ryuji was the secret MVP of this fight. Anyway, Trumpeter and Horror leveled up. Wonderful. Oh, and because of that, Trumpeter got Debilitate. Um, yeah, you know, I don't see myself using Brain Buster anytime soon. I'll get rid of, of that for Debilitate. The path to the temple is open. No more of that Holy Grail shit doing whatever it wants. Let's go. I'm not sensing any more enemies nearby, Joker. This is probably going to be our last chance to prep ourselves. We cannot lose now. Let us ensure we do not have any regrets as we head toward the final battle. Okay. 
So we've reached the top. Now that we've reached the top, we do have the ability to warp to the shrine entrance if we want to. This will give us easy access to the velvet room, but also the ability to recover our everything. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick and then we'll end things off. Okay, so for one of our absolute last fusions that we will be doing in the velvet room with the fusion alarm, we're gonna be fusing Ball with the Crystal Skull to make Odin. As you recall, this is one of the most powerful personas in the game and the most powerful persona of the Emperor Kana. It seems to have a decent amount of So strength. you bet I want to make that while the fusion alarm's turned on. I am Odin. This might for which I traded mine own eye shall be a mask of thine soul and lead thee to battle. So Mirrod Slash and Mazeodyne want to change. You know what? I will let those change. Makara Khan, a Barragular Floats Magical Checks for one ally at a time, Invigorate 3. Okay, not great, but I was prepared to lose those. Because Brave Blade is just a better version of Myriad Slashes, or at least in my opinion. And I didn't really need Mazeodon because, wow, Thunder is coming up. So yeah, I'm gonna get rid of Invigorate 3 for Wild Thunder. And I think I will go ahead and get rid of Makara Khan for Concentrate. Fast Heal decreases recovery time from ailments by half. Mm, I think I'll get rid... Well, no. I'm gonna keep... I'm gonna keep um, Revolution. What I don't need is Mara Kukaja, though. Illic Amp Cheese. Yeah, I'd rather get rid of... Uh, I'll, I'd rather have a like Amp, because Fast Heal's not as useful. Oh my god, Odin's gonna be doing so much. Okay. I've taken care of all of my business in the Velvet Room. There's nothing else to do... ...but face the final boss that lies ahead. So... Next time on Persona 5 Royal... ...we're gonna put an end to it all. We're going to defeat the guy control and destroy Mementos once and for all. See you guys then.